And I hope that picked up because if not, it's just gonna be 15 seconds of silence in this video. Anyways, if you can't tell from the blank screen, that's gonna be a random picture of the random game we'll be viewing. It's an undo review, as said in title. Today marks, well, actually, a few days ago it was my 50th subscriber, so as a um, thank you, I figured I would do a review on two of the best games I've ever played. And that's right. And if you can't tell from that awesomely awesome voice that is Rob, um, so I... these two games cannot be reviewed by one single man and do it justice. So it takes two. It takes two. So with two of the greatest uh, Tales of Symphonia fans here, I think it would be best to do it together. So, that's... Well, we could get more if we wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's officially kick off the dual review of Tales of Symphonia. Um, I just finished this game last night about midnight, so it's kind of fresh in my mind. Especially that defeat by Kratos. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's still a noob, you have to forgive him. I, I suck at one-on-one, -on -one, as you can tell from the Sheena battle, where I didn't even hit the guy. <laughs> okay, my in, in my defense, I hit him once, and then he killed me. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Anyways, enough of the jokes out of the way. Um, I think we should do one thing, and I it's an RPG, so let's talk about the story. The story is the best story that's ever been conceived in the video game, obviously. Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. <laughs> Basically, the story... It, this game has a great... I'm not going to tell you the story. I might even tell you the, the basis, but... Um, th this game has a great way of... Um, t think, making you think it's over. It's like, oh, we only have this left to do. And then when yeah, you do that, does it about three times. And then when you three do, three times you think you are at the end of the game, and guess what? Oh, you're not even halfway through. Shocker! Oh no! Yeah, that's some big plot twist happens, and you're like, "Holy shit! What do I do now?" Um, it happens a, 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 quite a few times, and there's even some minor plot twists in there that I think some of the plot twists should have been voiced because there's a couple. Well, they zoom in on the guy's face, and he's not talking. I'm like, this could have been voiceover. But, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, I agree. A spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't played. Like, the part when, um, uh, when the storybook teller is telling you that the four can meet those and get asked you with the same person, it just zooms in on his face. No talking. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, whoa! And I'm like, whoa! Let me reread that. Um, but there's a few minor complaints of this game, and I the reason why we get the cons out of the way, I could think of them because Bob can't. Yeah, it's really hard for me to think of it. I mean, this game's so awesome that I bought it on day one when it came out originally on the GameCube, and I still play it. Actually, I'm playing it right now, as a matter of fact. He's doing the final boss, which you will be able to see his Lloyd solo at www.youtube.com slash user slash Bible play. Okay, that, that's hey. a good one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, there aren't that many cons. Um, a couple of them being... Uh, just some of the enemies have some really stupid points. Um, there are really aren't that many I can think of. I have more complaints with Abyss than um, I do Symphonia. Which, if you're wondering, that is the next game we are doing. And after that, we are going to do one whole video comparing the two. Rob doesn't know that yet, but now he does. Oh no. Um, now on to music. The thing you heard earlier was one of the battle things. Which one do you like? What, what do you say about the music, Rob? I say the music is the best music to ever can see in the video game. <laughs> you say it wasn't gonna fan gas, I'm gonna yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously. The music in this game is so good that you will listen to town music and have it downloaded on your computer. I it's so town awesome. Music. I like there's only a few games in this game that agitate me. But that's it. 
Like, I can listen to everything in this game and I will fangasm everywhere and I, I it think will be very should, messy. I think we should say someone uh, fighting the spirits is awesome. Yes, it is very uh, also the battle themes, of course. Yes. Which I have three different versions of um, the Silver Aunt battle theme <laughs> on my computer, actually. <laughs> I wonder who the big old fan is. No. Um, yeah, no but... Okay, let's go on to voice acting. Do we have any complaints with the voice actors? Well, Lloyd sounds like Robin, Robin from Teen Titans. <laughs> Colette's voice actor is like I don't even see how you would be able to pull off a different voice actor for her it's like so done perfectly Sheena's a badass so she doesn't need a different voice actor Regal, nobody cares about Regal um, we'll get to that yeah everybody got a good voice actor oh I might want to mention that did you know Genus was voiced by a female yes you told me that once yes. oh well there you go now the viewers know um, yes, you do, viewers. You know now. You know. Okay, going on to characters and villains. Favorite <laughs> character? We all know. Go ahead, Rob. Who's your favorite character? My favorite character in Tales of Zephyria, where the Nintendo GameCube would be... Drumroll. Rain! Ah! <laughs> Rain is the best character ever, okay? By the way, if you haven't noticed, he sounds exactly like Rain in Ruin Mode. Whatever, Rain is so cool of character that I do solos with her because I'm pimp like that. In the that. Coliseum. <laughs> mind, you, mind you, I have a phone call. I would do a dance Coliseum with Rain. Actually, I already recorded that, but it was on my Ustream. Yes, which is Ustream.com, so fuck it. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what about villains? Do you? I, I kind of I, I have to admit... The villains. villains, I don't like their voice actors, personally, and most of them are really bland, bland. and annoying, especially Magnus. And Magnus, like, the, they really didn't do the God Generals all that well. Like, the only one I think they did get... is from Abyss, Brandon, wrong game. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Not the God Generals, the Grand Cardinals, bullshit, whatever the hell they want to call it. Yes. See, I got it right. Um, but one of the only th villains they did personally to me would be uh, Mythos, and only because of this. <laughs> <laughs> no one will get this reference, but I do. We do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That is but, funny. no. I, even Mythos, um, at times, is, he's kind of cool at the beginning, because he's like this badass that you don't know his plan, but then he just becomes a psychopath later, and you're like, oh, wow. Yeah. That's a good idea. They, they, they I give, well, we're not going to go into I give this, this score, because we haven't done the comparison video, but let's just say Abyss probably wins when it comes to build. Yes, it's I just, agree, actually. Um, but I think the final thing we should talk about, because we only have two minutes of gameplay, which we kind of should have done before. But go ahead. The yeah, gameplay is like, it's it's so hard. It is so good that if you've been playing back then, you probably still are. <laughs> and I still play it to this day, because that is the best battle system I've ever played in RPG. Until Abyss came out. <laughs> Until Abyss. Abyss. <laughs> Well, Tales of Symphonia 2 kind of also, but not really. But Abyss kind of had a different, like a more advanced one, and I liked Abyss's more. But Symphonia's is just so classic that I still go back to it and thank has them everywhere. Okay. Well, I think now we should give, since we only have, I believe, a minute or two left, um, I guess that's all we can talk about, unless you want to talk about the art style. The art style... I love yeah. Symphonia's art style. I love looking at art. It has such a different... Well, tell Symphonia 2 has it too. It has such a different art style that it's really enjoyable. Even though IGN's gay and say it's a bad art style and oh, I'll give you a 6 out of 10 yeah, because yeah, your yeah. art style sucks. Fuck you, IGN. You don't know anything. Games aren't about graphics. Oh wait, I can make a reference right now about Mirror's Edge. Yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna do that. Um, <laughs> but... Okay, final 50 seconds. Score for Symphonia. 
Why are you asking me that? You know what my score is. Ten, whatever. Um, those <laughs> break up. I have a couple complaints with the villain, so the score gets a little bit less. But then again, I'm not one for scores. So I'll just say 9.8 and tell you to buy the game if you haven't already. You can find it on Amazon for like 30 bucks. That's how much I, I paid like however much, 25 for it. Anyways, video's over, review's done, buy it, and we'll see you for a bit. Say bye, Bob. Peace out.